What's up, Kush TV? Today we're here at the Southside Kennels, taping the first episode of the American Bully. Today we'll be introducing to you the American Bully, how it's got its name. About 10 years ago, some breeders decided to take this breed into another direction. They wanted to breed this dog to have the athletic muscular build of a pit, but the massive size of an Amstad. The bullies come from the American Pit Bull and the American Staffordshire Terrier. The American Pit Bull Terrier is a dog created in the early 1800s for the sport of dog fighting. It was created and designed to be an ultimate warrior, yet man's best friend. This breed was designed to be able to outdo any other breed in its physical strength and stamina. These dogs were created to never give in a match, even through fatigue and injury. They were created to uphold what is called gameness. This is the ability to keep going when all else fails. It's a mental state that made this dog the ultimate gladiator. These dogs were also created instinctively never to harm the human life. Even in the heat of battle, they were the ideal athlete and competitor, and the most stable and human tolerant breed in existence. Eventually, the sport of dog fighting was outlawed and deemed inhumane. The breed was left without being able to perform the task in which it was created. They left the breed with the only purpose to be man's best friend. Since there's no longer any pit fighting, we've deemed this breed the American Bully, man's ultimate companion. So now we're going to the Las Vegas Magic Show to give you a little taste of what the future holds for the breed. Hey, what's up? I'm Alexia Lay. You're watching Kush TV, and we are at the Magic Show here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Blow jeans, you know what it is. You know what I mean? We, we got started actually when uh, Blow was born. 2001, Blow was born. We introduced the line in 2004. This is what we have. This is our first launch here at Magic 2007. You see the line here. You know what I mean? You see the boost. We're coming, we got the Blow shirt up there, which is a real exclusive piece. Everybody's on it. Everybody's wearing it here. We got we got uh, Lil Ro in the house also. What it is, it's blue jeans right here. Make it flip, that's what it's about right here. Make it flip, here we go. Real, recognized, real. With blue jeans here, magic blowing up the scene 2007 right here. This is the dope line that everybody wants and we're gonna supply a blue jeans here on Kush TV, magic 2007, that's what it is. What's up, this is Madeline. I'm here with Kush TV, I'm here with blow jeans and magic, kicking it with Lil Ro. Hope you guys are having a good time. here from Lakewood, California. My man Kenny from Ambush Pits. What's up, Kenny? What's up, what's up, what's up? You know, you guys know me out there. It's Ken Chill on the board, but you know how we do it. Today, man, we're getting this dog. He's Bully of the Week, man. We chose Mr. Wu-Tang himself. Man, Wu-Tang, man. First of all, big ups to Coaster from uh, Gotti Edge for sending me this boy. I mean, I got him when he was a puppy. He was only six weeks old when he sent them out. And, uh, I mean, he's 75% Gotti line, 25% Razor Edge. His bloodline is 8-1. He most definitely going to make sure all these dogs out here that's overbred, Gotti line, Razor Edge, he going to even all that shit out. So, you know, I I'm excited about this puppy, man. Yeah, first of all, I want to say rest in peace to June. Uh, for starting Butthead, he was the one who actually blessed me with Cuba, which is one of the biggest, thickest bitches on the West Coast. And now she resides with uh, Evelyn at Eagle Rock and just did a sick ass breeding with Tonka. Y'all know who Tonka is, I don't even have to go into that. And the shit gonna be bananas, man. 